So how certain are you the server will confirm? I would bet $10 on it that I do lead King Deuce with the King of Hearts for a third. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's get into this. We made it till five star stacks now. And it's actually going really fast now, so be ready. I also wanted to put in some of the, at least how this so that everyone watching can see what it takes to luck box this tournament too. Mm -hmm. Oh, get him. So we do need the turn. Yeah, I think that's, I think I want to, after check calling flop, since I fast play most of my checks, I have a lot of hearts and a lot of 6-6, six, six, and therefore want to start leading for, yeah, I think a small sizing. I don't really see much benefit for bigger, and therefore I need small, just to fold out his king eight in diamonds. So how certain are you the server will confirm? I would bet $10 on it. <laughs> that I do lead King Deuce with the King of Hearts for a third. Okay, thank you. More than 50% you win, less okay. than 50% I win. You get everything between 30 and 40%. So stack size, 20 blinds deep. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think we don't? I don't necessarily think we don't. I think you have a pretty good shot at it. If we get proven wrong somewhere, then it's here. I would also dunk it intuitively, <laughs> but I've seen too many weird things on these type of boards that I kind of just want to see it. Okay, that's fair. What do you guys think in the chat? Do we? Okay, we we need who, who yeah. on, on whose side are you? Fedor's side or Mario's side? Where where do you place your money? Fabi to Fedor's side. Is that Bernhard or Fabi? No. So now I don't think so. He wouldn't write like this. Wouldn't. Fabi, unmask you. Who is Igor's? Is that Igor Kakarov? Might be. Fader side for six one months. Okay, I don't know. People seem to like your Fader side for six one months. Yeah, sorry, Mario. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't specify which bed sizings, but yeah, that's one point eight is is fine. Yeah. Oh, I like my side, bro. I do like my side now. I do like it. Okay, we do get to lead half of our range. And kaboom! Da -dum. Well, done. well done. Nice. Let's go. Fatinho, yes, you are on my side. So, yeah, to, to see that we do need the overcard. So, if we have the king with the deuce, it's probably not strong enough and we would just overdo it a little bit. But I think we just have too many six x And, like, also the fact that we never raise the six and, like, a lot of times raise the check and stay there having hearts and the sea bets, everything. Like if we just look at how much equity, a little bit more, okay. And also at 16, I think it's not that relevant that he has more better flushes than us. I think it's at 100, then we would be more cautious. In my heart, I was more on your side, but I wanted to see the sim, so. Okay, nice. I, I would have played it similarly. I've just, I realized we looked up this BB versus button spot yesterday. And I was really surprised about the solution. So I don't want to recap it now, but like there, there was this monotone bar, like 10, 9, 3 monotone and then deuce on a turn. And you don't remember? Oh, with the queen four, where I built the queen four? Exactly, yeah. Okay, what, what yeah. were you surprised about? Just generally, I think the the big blind response in terms of what you need to raise and what sizings, yeah. like it gets played pretty aggressively. And I, I was just really curious around the solution on this board. Mm -hmm. I thought what the most interesting was that we need to continue the 9x a lot on the turn. Yeah. Yeah, for me, uh, this one here, I think, is, is just interesting. Sometimes it's just good to confirm, you know, when you have a pretty... Because for me, it would be super intuitive to call flop and then don't turn. And, and sometimes I just want to, like, is this the... You know, does this make sense? Like, is there maybe a different way to, to look at it? And I don't know, I feel that's... It's import as important to question the ones where you feel confident rather than just the ones where we feel uncertain. True. I, I, now I think I would rather see bet the ace, three bet the ace seven pre. I'm actually not sure if it's a call or not. Let's see. I think you want to be flatting the lower ones and three bet the higher ones here. I think you want to be flatting like the, the ace five and ace four here and three bet the ace seven, ace eight, ace nine. And I also think these are the ones that I've been missing 
quite a bit for having a higher triplet stat because I don't think I get to 50% 50% frequency with those, but I think it's important, most important to whip it. If the hand goes like this, then flatting is fine uh, too. I really don't mind sliding these suited aces a bit more because people, the, if the big blank calls so much, like over calls too much, it's it's yeah. like so much better to flat them there, and much better to three bet your like king jack off and ace jack off to the max. Like yeah, if they continue calling everything from the big blind, like let let them just do dumb shit. <laughs> also, people play so terrible in multi way pots. Can I see the turn action again? Yes. Interesting, because I, I would not have even thought about choosing a different action than... I mean, he, I, I would just... Shove it? Yeah. I mean, maybe not in the eight of spades on the turn, but like I feel when he goes for half pot flop, two thirds turn, I mean, he just has it. Mm. Like, you have the ace of hearts, what is he supposed to bluff? Like... King Queen, Queen of Hearts, King Queen, King of Hearts. Yeah, okay, but it just feels like most people don't start half potting with their hand on the flop. So I discount like almost all of them already. And then, you know, I, I just feel like he has like pocket nines and just wanna just wanna get it in. Yeah, true. I thought I would rather shove the Queen Ten or the King Queen. Oh, it's not a theoretical. Like I, I also wouldn't even consider necessarily like. You don't need to shove, right? Like it's you. You can also yeah. raise, yeah. <laughs> because look at this on the turn, right? Like mm. every ten, like every queen, like a lot of the hands that I believe are in this value range right now, where I believe he doesn't have enough bluffs, he will slow down on a river, and I just want to get in the chips. Against the setups, so. because flushes he has like almost none left, right? Like yeah, flushes he might not start betting half part on the flop so it's like there's a lot of hands where it's literally just him overplaying like a strong hand but not top hand mm -hmm. think multi-way a rather clear check sorry went too far if i want to bet then i don't think i want to bet the low queen x almost at all but then rather bet the queen check in clubs or the king queen in clubs and with the backdoor check call and if it's strong enough check raise a little more you can differentiate there a little bit on the turn once big blend checks again i think i can go for a third or like i think i went for 40 percent and on the river i bet a little bit too big i think i want to rather want to go for the third to 25 percent just because like what am i attacking i'm attacking nines does it eights i'm attacking or like trying to get value from sevens nines ten nine ace ten king ten jack ten these combinations and i think with the 40 percent i just get too many folds of those and he still has sometimes queen check sometimes queen eight sometimes eights so a six suited maybe hmm, he might fold that but yeah that would be so it's too big of a sizing on the river. Agreed. Good analysis, I think. Mm -hmm. Any folds? Of the queen eight, I'm actually curious what our 15 blinds strategy is here. We do get to shove the king x and the ace x and the suited middle cards and a lot of limbs and sometimes races. But yeah, I think that's either way, it's fine. I think you will. See, the more I think we will have different uh, solves for different race sizes, I, I feel we could see a bit more of the smaller races with this type of hand. Mm -hmm. I think like the, you know, I, I don't know what race size it has for 15 BB here. Uh, probably three. three yeah, that, that's why. Because I think for the, the 2.5 X solution, I think you see a bit more of mm -hmm. races there. So, so that's, I think, actually also a nice uh, strat against some people. Yeah, just this 2.5 in the small stacks. But yeah, I think limp is the main option here. Once I check, I can bet I would expect him to 
like fast play most aces in position doesn't have many but most of the tens so i do have the best hand most of the time so i probably should bet just to not give it a hard free river but once i check it's a pretty clear call and then the river is a complete break and then it's interesting because he bets two third and i would almost discount 10x at this point and almost discount ace x as well just because of the preflop action he should isolate or for sure the offsuit ones maybe let's see if, if 15 blinds he has some of the a6 to a2 suited which make the least sense to iso raise so at this point he's betting into a range that has clear showdown value which means an eight king queen king check king or queen high flush draws that didn't raise free and then a6 that tried to, to trap and against that range him having all the flushes though so he has a lot of them i just think i can make an adjustment and fold the 8x which i probably shouldn't <laughs> I, I'm not sure about this sentence. I can't be, what's, what's the reason you make an adjustment that you shouldn't? No, like in theory, like in theory, I think it's a rather clear just check call. And in practice, I don't think it's a making money. Just because I have too strong of a range and he has too clearly weak of a range and he's just wrapping flushes. Um, do you have too strong of a range? I mean, I have Ace X. I have. Still... How often do you play Ace X this way? Like Ace I'm... X, like almost all the time on the turn. Yes. Jam Ace X a lot pre. You like? I don't feel like you have a bunch of Ace X here. You but also, some... I would bluff it, like because I've way better, way more Aces than him, and more Ten X than him on the turn, and maybe even more flushes than him. I would bluff a lot on the turn, or just stab, and never once I check call, like get too strong. Even though the ace is not that relevant, it's I don't think that relevant besides that, that flush for both. But if I have kings, queens, checks, I probably come to the turn with a, or the river with a very high frequency as well, which is the same like an ace. I know. How do you see his this river bet? Yeah, I also think it's population wise more on the stronger side. But I I, I think fold is is reasonable as an exploit. But I I, I think it's really important to play these spots sound I, I think in these type of spots it's just important you play them well yeah and not try to waste too much energy on the very particular things people might be doing in certain spots because this might cost you a lot too if you have like a five percent calling range here because you you know like yeah you have kings queens and jacks Without a heart, it's probably also a bit. Mm. So I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's hard to come to a clear conclusion. Like, I know it's a call if I look it up. And the then... question is what he's bluffing and also what we are calling with and how wide we're calling with. And then, I, you know, you can still... I think he's bluffing the 6, 7, 9, 7, 9, 6 complete air as well. I don't think he wants to bluff a heart on the river because then he blocks the check hold turn, check fold river, like the king six in hearts. Doesn't want to have like a king or queen hearts. I think in practice, he probably does that way more. So he probably bets queen for a queen deuce with a queen in hearts on the, on the turn. And then like, that's just, if he's not professional, then I think that would be a mistake that he make. He just had ace four and... Probably had it. Probably. 